Hi and welcome to this video on Moodle. I'm going to talk about Moodle course format. Otherwise, what your Moodle course is going to look like. My name is Mike Toft and welcome to the video. So course formats, um, I'm going to talk through seven of the options available to you. I'm going to show you them in reverse order of my preferences. Uh, and while we're looking at the formats, have a think about your student age group and the user experience. And uh, I just going to add another bullet on how much information and courseware you're going to put on a single page because that really matters. Okay, so the first one is grid format. I don't like this at all. Um, it seems to me it was developed back in the 1980s and it's sort of done for like play school time. Um, so I'm just going to jump over that because I don't like it. The next one is tiles format. It looks a bit fresher than uh, the previous one. Uh, the thing is, if you click on one of the uh, blocks along the top, uh, then yet another pop-up appears. And to be honest with you, I don't like pop-ups. You know, in this day and age, every website you go to, something pops up for their, you know, accept cookies or join this site and whatever. I just don't like pop-ups. So I don't like tiles format either. Then there's buttons format. It looks fresh and modern. However, there's a big issue. Uh, where the buttons are, it's just got one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't tell you, it doesn't tell the student what they're going to see if they click on a button. Um, so in this instance, uh, this is button three, and what's in button three is uh, just below it. But I don't know what's in button four and button five, so that's quite annoying, and I've uh, tried looking in the background settings, and I can't find as a setting to say button one is this, button two is that, and so on. So um, it looks nice, it looks modern and fresh, but there's that caveat, you don't know what is coming on each button. Uh, then there's periods format. Uh, oh, yeah, I like this. Um, and this is uh, quite good if you're setting your courseware out over a particular time period. And you can see under each of the headings where it says maritime domain, the period date is 11th of June to 10th of July, and then the next one is July to August. Um, so uh, in the background settings, you can go weekly, you can go monthly, you can go yearly. So if you're laying out your course structure uh, in date time groups, then uh, you know uh, the periods format uh, might do you justice. The next one is collapsed topic format. Now, I do like this one. And... In this instance, the domain uh, subjects are um, sort of in these um, grey bars. And if you click on one of the grey bars, it opens up like a sort of concertina rather than one of those pop-ups. So this is, a, this is quite a nice layout. Um, this layout is good if you have an awful lot of information to put on one web page. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So that's collapsed topics. Let's have a look at topic format. Now, I've only got two to go, so this is my sort of second favourite, uh, if you like. So topic format just sets things out by topic. Um, there's no date time group settings for each, even though you can, um, once you're on the web page, you can highlight it as the active one, uh, which is a nice little feature, but that happens on all, uh, on all the Moodle topics anyway. Uh, the, so yeah, topic format, is nice, clean, fresh. It does what it says on the tin, and I think it's pretty straightforward for the students if you don't overload it with too much information. And lastly, and funnily enough, it looks very similar to the last one. This is flexible sections format, and the only difference that I can see between that, and I'm just going to go back a slide, you watch. Okay, topics format, flexible sections format, the only thing I can see is that sort of line between the sections, uh, and I can't see uh, much difference in the background settings of Moodle between the two. So I've gone through the seven options. There's one for primary school, uh, and this one, uh, or the last three, probably for higher education, further education, uh, certainly uh, for teaching adults rather than uh, young kids. So that's it. My name's Mike. I'm on Twitter, a little grey hair. I'm on the web, littlegreyhair.com, and if you'd like to subscribe to this um, uh, 
uh, playlist on YouTube. That would be great because you'll be notified uh, any time I put a new video or you just hit like and uh, that will be really appreciated. So that's it, five minutes on uh, Moodle topics. See you in the next video.